But first, teenagers from all over London have travelled to South Korea for a festival celebrating the Scouts. The international event was somewhat hampered by extreme weather conditions, flooding and a heat wave meant several young people needed medical help. But the Scouts soldiered on, determined to take part in their all-out jamboree. Our reporter Lauren Hall's there with them. A spectacular start to the World Scout Jamboree here in South Korea. Last night's opening ceremony brought together teenagers from all over the world. After spending their first night here, our Scouts have woken up with a lot to look forward to over the next 10 days. We all know that old Scout motto, be prepared. Well, you know, I don't think anything could have prepared them for this. 45,000 young people from nearly every nation on earth. And let me tell you, the atmosphere here is just incredible. There is so much excitement. There are also hundreds of our scouts here from across London and the home counties. They arrived a bit later than expected because of flooding on the campsite. We spoke to Alec and Ariane, who told us it was worth the wait. It feels really, really exciting that we're going to have meeting new people, trying different foods and all of that. Yeah, it's been such a long time coming, so I think everyone's so excited to be here and sort of get on with the activities and meet people. Uh, we literally drove through the gates and they started singing. Uh, we were so happy to finally be here. Everyone was cheering, everyone was shouting. Um, it was just the, the build up and the excitement, it just, it just came out and it was incredible to see. They've been preparing for this for many months, an event which is seen as so much more than just a camping trip. It's young people who are going to change the world. It's young people who are going to drive that change to remind us that what brings us together is so much greater than what divides us. And I think the world has never been more divided and more in need of that scouting spirit, that scouting energy and that scouting goodness. That's why the scouts have also taken a trip to the demilitarised zone, the heavily fortified border between North and South Korea. I think it's important that we show them because they're going to take the message that we see here back to their communities, back home, wherever in the world that might be. And we can all see how war divides this nation. I think bringing that back and, you know, planting that seed with the next generation probably takes us that few, uh, those few steps away, further away from war itself. There's been a lot to take in. Now, though, our scouts are looking forward to meeting others just like them from all over the world as the jamboree finally gets underway. Lauren Hall, ITV News in South Korea. Great stuff. Now